broke down. I broke down and this is my um, first meal since surgery. And I had to try to eat before I got on camera because I wanted to see if it was actually going to work, if I was going to be in pain. And the only pain that I can tell you guys that I'm feeling is just that my mouth hurts. Like, it feels like, you know, like if you try to jack up your car and you try to change your tire and you know it's going to take you like at least half the day to change your tire. So you got the car jacked up for like half that day. It feels like my mouth has been like pried open for six to seven hours and I have that pain that yo my mouth was like pried open for six to seven hours that's what I'm feeling it's not my teeth it's just that that feeling and then it hurts to swallow sometimes but you guys I got chick-fil-a with some chick-fil-a sauce with some waffle fries and a chick-fil-a deluxe sandwich And you guys, it's not that bad. And then, I had to remember that I couldn't use a straw. And, um, I can't really open my mouth too wide. So, biting this sandwich is kind of hard. Dang, and it won't rip. Oh my gosh. I'm making a mess, y'all. A huge mess. It feels so good to eat. I've been missing food so much, y'all. I haven't eaten in four days. I could cry. Y'all, I have not eaten. Does it look like I haven't eaten? God is good. Mm. And tortoise bun all to pieces. All to pieces. Because I was so daggone excited. Mm. Mm. 
down below what's your favorite sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce all the way. Mmm. I'm gonna mess up the sandwich. Dog on it. I'm gonna mess up this whole entire bun. Whole entire bun. I don't care. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even say, hey, what's up? It should go to yeah. And I'm back and I'm blessed to say that. Because y'all, I'm so excited. I just don't understand, like, I've literally been starving, smelling food. Mm. And not being able to eat. But you know, today, I have my breaking point. Mm. Like, I cannot. Enough is enough. I'm tired of watching people eat. I couldn't eat. Mm. Y'all. And the coldness, the coldness of this drink helps the pain, like really well. More Chick-fil-A sauce. Y'all, I'm so happy. I've been drinking smoothies, eating yogurt, living miserable. Miserable. Lord, if I'm ever ungrateful and I don't appreciate food again, just rewind my mind back to this. I appreciate eating so much. Oh my goodness. I appreciate food. Not those soggy tomatoes, though. Mm Y'all, I'm in heaven.
So I'm gonna tell y'all how the surgery went. I got four wisdom teeth out. Four. I got put to sleep. And then I'm gonna tell you how it went. I went to the office. I was super nervous. And they hooked the IV up to my arm. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm not tired. I'm not tired. I'm having a whole conversation with my dentist and my nurses or whatever. Whatever you want to call them. The people that be handing the stuff to. And I'm having a whole conversation with that lady. Talking about her man. How she didn't got married. How she got man problems and stuff. And then, next thing I know, the doctor said, okay, I'm, I'm going to start putting the anesthesia on. And it's going to start to kick in. I didn't feel sleepy at all. And I'm over here talking. Next thing I know, I'm not. Like, I don't even remember getting tired. I don't remember getting drowsy. I don't remember getting none of that. And the next thing I know, I'm out. Like, I like. And then... My dad told me when I woke up that I was like, did you get this one? Did you get this one? Did you get this one? I don't remember nothing. Uh. And then he was like, I was saying, I was constantly telling him that he needed to help me. You gotta help me. You gotta help me. <laughs> He said I was mad heavy. He had to help me walk because I couldn't walk. I'm like, damn, dad, was it like that? Because the only memory that I have is I was in the car and I was like this. And mom was like, baby, I need your medical card. I'm like, I don't have it. What are you talking about? She's like, I can't open your wallet. I was like, because I got one of those wallets that you like got to push it and you know, open it. You know how old people, they don't know nothing about nothing i'm just playing but my mom's kind of like old school so she's just used to the little pop it open wallet so all i remember is just being like this like here and then she got my medicine for me and then we get back to the house and i remember not being able to walk up the stairs it felt like a like a, a straight dream that was my biggest fear was being put to sleep anyway that was my biggest fear because i was scared i was gonna wake back up and i don't even remember waking back up like at all i gotta rinse my mouth when i get back home but i don't remember waking back up at all and then when I got back to the house, I remember my dad or my mom asking me, like, baby, you think you can walk? You think you'll be okay to walk? I'm like, I got it, I got it. Because I'm always like, I got it. But I ain't have it. And I was about to fall up them steps. And then my dad helped me. And then I remember getting in the house and just running to my room and plopping on the bed. Because I was just done. I was tired. I was done. It was a long day. My appointment was at, at like, 8 and it ended, it was only an hour. It ended at like nine. And then I got back to the room and I slept till two, from nine to 2 p.m. And that's where my memory starts back. Like I can remember that stuff. So to describe the experience, it was fun. Definitely get put to sleep. 
But if you can help it, don't. Just because of the simple fact that the roof of my mouth hurts. Like, it hurts. Like, excruciating pain, it hurts. And it was so expensive to get these teeth out because my insurance only covered for the sedation. It did not cover for, um, it did not cover for, like, the whole procedure, I guess. But, like... You guys, I spent so much money to get these wisdom teeth out. And it was the only reason why I got them out was because they told me it was going to cause problems in the future with these, the ones at the top. This one was already hurting because you guys know I've been complaining about it forever. But this one was fine. But it said they're so hard to clean and stuff like that. And I was like, if this one's starting to hurt, because I've never had problems with my teeth, like, ever. But if this one's starting to hurt, I know these are going to start coming right after, back to back. There's no way in the world. So... I had to get it done before it got worse because I was already not eating before. So, I had to. Um, I didn't bleed like that though. I didn't bleed a whole lot. Well, I did. The first day, I filled up like, they put four things in my mouth, cotton things. I filled up one of those, then I put some more in there, filled up another one of those, and then by the end of the night... You know how you're in so much pain and your mouth, like, your mouth is in so much pain that you just want to sleep like this? So I was sleeping like this. And, like, it was just blood and blood. Not to be too, like, TMI or, you know, but I'm just saying. But it was just the first day. And after the first day, I was fine. I didn't eat anything the first day. I slept most of that day. The second day, I ate some yogurt because um i had um i'm taking the amoxicillin antibiotic so you know i gotta eat yogurt almost every day so i don't get that um yeast infection thing that you know if you guys didn't know if you take a 500 milligram antibiotic you're gonna get a yeast infection guaranteed so you might as well just eat your yogurt so that you can prevent that from happening and that's what's happening right now i'm not dealing with none of that so yeah and on top of that, what I didn't know is, um, took Allie to the doctor's appointment. She's sick or whatever. She's taking amoxicillin too. And she's a baby. And it's like 200 milligrams, 300 milligrams, something like that. So I'm praying she don't get a yeast infection. But I gave her some yogurt. She's gonna be eating yogurt with me. So we good, girl. Hopefully. But yeah. She's doing good, by the way. You guys are going to see a funny, cute clip of her at the end of this video. But that's it for this mukbang video. Another thing that I forgot to tell y'all is I'm taking hydrocodone. I think I'm saying it right. And it makes me dizzy and it makes me sleepy, like done sleepy. And I tried to go to work today and it was just not a good idea. Because I was drowsy and I was like weak because I haven't been eating and I was like dizzy because, probably because of the medicine. So that's another thing you got to watch out for. The medicines that you're taking. Just take regular uh, Tylenol or whatever. But thanks to you guys for watching and um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also be sure to turn your notifications on because you do not want to miss a single video. Also be sure to like this video and every other video that you watch, binge watch, y'all. And be sure to click that bell at the bottom of the screen, you guys. Turn your notifications on because you do not want to miss a single video. I love y'all.
and I'll see y'all for the next video. Let me know what y'all want to see in, um, in the next video in the comment section down below. Let me know if you like this video down below. Let me know if you love Allie and all her cuteness down below. Comment down below. That's what you guys can do. And be sure to binge watch some of my vlogs because they are some good ones. And I love y'all. Y'all, I'm just too hyped because I'm eating. <laughs> I'm just so hyped because I'm eating. Y'all, I'm on another level because I have missed food so much. But thanks you guys for tuning in and watching. I love y'all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hiccups. <laughs>